Greeks among the Spaniards. Generally between 1966 and 68. But even in that 1963 speech that we have glossed over, they seem so nice and so antiseptic. Dr. King said, people are wondering, when will black people be satisfied? He said, as long as the Negro has to endure the injustices of police brutality, we will not be satisfied. Dr. King said that thing about having a speech in 1963. He named it. He said that as long as the Negro has to endure the unspeakable horrors, that's what he said, the unspeakable horrors of police brutality. So what should offend you is that we're having to talk about the same thing he talked about in 1963. Yeah. Yeah. And you're more offended by the movement than what the movement is responding to for what other challenges the movement might have. All the movements have challenges. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the spirit of what we must do together. So let's do this word. Around that time, after Dr. King went to Memphis two months later, he was gone. A few months before that, he met with distinguished gathering of rabbis. And Rabbi, Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel said, here's Martin Luther King Jr., America's brother. Called him away. A voice, a vision away. He said, I urge every American Jew to hear his voice, to hearken his vision, and follow his way. Indeed, the whole future of our country depends on whether or not people listen to that. So let us listen to Dr. King. Not just selected, feel good verses, extracted out of context. Real Dr. King, who, who would be shocked because during his ministry and his lifetime, we didn't have all these people locked in prison. This happened. needed. And if we can transform that, it would have amazing implications for our whole society and far-reaching transvaluative meaning in the Western moral imagination where blackness is construed as criminality and dangerousness and criminality and blackness are seen as one and the same. Yeah. Mm. In other words, if you turn the world 
and Twerna and Jamie and Hitler, all of those challenges that James Reed, all of those doors that they fought to open once you are marked with the name ex felon ex convict ex enemy all of those doors close again. Voting discrimination, legal. And then when we put the referendum on the ballot in Florida and the people rise up on both sides of the aisle, Democrats and Republicans in Florida. Yes, But the people of Florida rose up and said, if people have paid their debt to society, they ought to be able to vote. How do you expect people to act like citizens if you won't treat them like citizens? And people rose up and did it by a referendum. Don't take too long. That's how it happened. Stop clapping because then. In the most undemocratic mm -hmm. way that you can imagine, they overturned the people's will. Mm -hmm. I want you to think about that. What's more undemocratic, small d? What's more undemocratic than that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had a public argument. Mm -hmm. We put something on a public referendum, which is something y'all do often when you want to oppress somebody. And if people actually use the referendum to liberate their fellow citizens and say, we ought to give you a door to re-entry. And then they found a way to undo what the people had done. You think this is just a problem for folks who are in the criminal justice system? This, this is a democracy problem. Folks, what we got to fight for is